Second Ezra chapter 9. Verse 9 and it reads, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have see, received benefits, and have not known me. And they that have loaded my law, while they yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain, and therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is is created then answered i and said i have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved like as a wave is greater than a drop first and foremost i want to give all praise honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, makes double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regards for people here, forbear. The Lord said they're going to be in a pitiful case. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that didn't take heed to the one and you didn't repent. All this time, all this grace. All this time has been going by. Ain't thought for once to turn back. The Lord said, soon coming ain't going to be no food. Soon coming ain't going to be no water to wash your stinking ass. Soon coming is not going to be 911. Soon come, the grocery stores are not going to have grocery in it. Soon come, there's not going to be a 911 for you to call help in the time of need. The Lord, the Lord is going to cover his ears. He's not going to hear you anymore. And you're really through. And this, this place is going down by the second. Babylon the Great is going down by the second. What's that scripture? Um... Um, the mirth is gone pretty much out of the city. The thrill is gone. The only thing you think about is voting or either dancing, having some fun. Literally, all hell literally breaking loose. <laughs> and our people ain't even taking heed to the one, ain't discerning the times. The Lord said, Look, look, you had liberty. This was the grace period. Look what you did with it. You played around you, and you mocked the men that was warning you. You got, you got nothing but prideful people walking around, filling this up. At, we'll go through this all the time. Ashes and dirt. The Lord about to bury a whole lot of ninjas. The Lord about to delete a whole lot of ninjas too, man. Straight up, man. They always push the law, 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 the laws, the statutes, the commandments, but they really hated the law. They didn't keep the law. It was faking it the whole time. And that's one of the um, first ways to get deleted. Being a hypocrite, being an actor, uh, holy, holier than thou. You sold the hell out. You took a 501c3 charter made a covenant and agreement with the government, took away the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. But you're the guys that everyone needs to follow? You ninjas gone, man. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 9, it reads, Then shall they, the Hebrew Israelites, two-thirds of our people, shall be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways. 
And don't just think that the, the average two thirds, you know what I'm saying, just um, a knucklehead, you no know saying, just walking around through the downtown cities not knowing what the hell is going on. No, the majority of the two thirds are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that know who they are according to the Bible, but they out here faking it. Walking around like they perfect. Like they don't do no wrong. At the same time, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. It, it, it's all good. Because like the Lord said, that, that vengeance, vengeance is his. And misery is starting to kick in now. Me and a co-worker was talking about it yesterday. How, how there's less jobs. If you're on your job, you're doing like um, work like, like you five different people. It's getting, and the Lord put a squeeze on this place, so it's getting worse and worse. They abuse the ways of the Lord, and they cast, and they that cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. They don't want to hear the words of the Lord. And winter coming too. Just know that winter coming too. For such as in their life have received benefits, the bags, the perks. You see. They have not known me, but they're the main ones talking about something. They, they know the Lord, right? And it's 2024. I call it 3024. And you got a Hebrew Israelite group still pushing Jesus Christ. Are, get, let, let that make sense, Israel. You got your leader telling you to take that damn juice, that damn Capri Sun, that Kool Aid, that spider piss, whatever you call it, man. That Capri Sun, whatever you call it, and, and that's a person that you follow, and people have been deleted behind that nonsense, the, and they that have loaded my law, hated the law, even though they was pushing the law, 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 they really hated the law, while they yet had liberty, this was the grace period. See what everybody's doing with grace. And when as yet place of repentance was open, the doors of mercy were still open unto them. Understood not, but despised it, but hated it. The same must know it out of death by pain. When these judgment come, when martial law pop off, cannibalism, race war, it's really going to happen. Everything that we've been saying according to the Bible, do you ninjas not know that is happening right now. You you still don't realize that it ain't coming no more. It's happening. Everything is happening. A domino effect. There's so much stuff happening. You can't even keep up with it all. Syria deleters everywhere. Storms everywhere. Hell, they're setting up martial law as we speak in certain cities. But it's gonna be the whole Babylon. They're gonna lock the whole Babylon down. You you thought 2020 was some? The Lord said you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. You see, the Lord said the same must know it by death, by pain. And therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but we know what's going to happen, but inquire how the righteous, the elect shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak. And will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish, straight up get deleted, than of them which shall be saved. Nobody ain't saved yet. Over and over, over and over, over and over, the Lord keeps telling everybody, there ain't nobody saved yet. But people still, they skip over these scriptures. They still walk around, some of them, they saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. We don't, we don't know what the hell you church you church goers gonna do. You you really through you really don't know that hell. hell the majority of the Israelites don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what I'm saying. You just you just know you're an Israelite and that's it. That's all you know. That's all you know. We stay bringing out scriptures on Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. This devil making it mandatory that you're taking a plantable device. While everybody else is talking about the laws, the statutes, the commandments, when they don't even keep them, beard all marred up, head shaped the hell up, long ass dreads, whole lot of adultery um, going on among these Israelite groups. 
performing witchcraft, casting spells, all that. But oh yeah, the laws, the statues, the came. Come on, man. Oh yeah, taking they took the name of the Lord in vain. We don't know the name of the Lord until until you end up in a damn hospital or something. Then you know the name of the Lord. I don't know the name of the Lord until you lose your job. I don't know the name. Nobody knows the name of the Lord until you need something to eat. Then all of a sudden, um, um, what is it? Poof. I know it now. I didn't know it before, but I know it now because I need some help. Hypocrites, man. Jeremiah 30. But that's who you follow, though, right? Jeremiah chapter 30. And what the scripture say? If the blind lead the blind, shall they not both fall into a ditch? This is Jeremiah chapter 30. Verse on four. And these are the words that the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Every morning the Lord opened my eyes up at the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to still say your proper names in the Hebrew tongue. I'm not playing around with that. When the scripture said me that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and it's safe. And, and then Acts, the fourth chapter, verse 12, it tells me there is no none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. No other name. You can't call on no other name to be saved and delivered. And that's my faith. That's my faith. Thank you. The water you have, Bashim, I was shy. I ain't calling on nobody else, man. Why the hell would I call on somebody else? No saying when I when I have been given, the Lord is allowing me to receive the proper name in the Hebrew tongue. That's that, that's total disrespect, man. We just say, and these are the words that the Lord Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, all 12 tribes. Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, right? For thus saith the Lord Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. But oh yeah, but oh yeah the good book, right? It's all peace and love, right? Every time we read it, it's lamentations, and mournings, and woes. It's deliverance in here. It's salvation in here. But but it's mostly doom and gloom. What Bible are you reading? Doom and gloom, man. As she now. No, look, no peace. It says, it says, no peace, man. Hear the voice of trembling. People were scared. People, people was in fear. Not and not of peace. As she now and see whether doeth a man. Travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, on his midsection? Pain as, as a woman in travail. And all faces are turned into paleness. This is what Jeremiah is saying. You know, when anybody's face turned into paleness, that means they scared shitless, man. Terrified, right? Alas, for that day is great, so that it so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob trouble. The Lord says it's worse than the 70 AD. It's worse than the Atlantic slave trade. It's worse than slavery. It's worse than post-slavery. Because you know, after slavery, you know what I'm saying, so-called, when the slave was so-called set free, it got worse for him. You got worse for him. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. But oh yeah, uh, all hell breaking loose. Let's have a debate. Let, let it all make sense, Israel. The stores are closing down. Let's have a debate. It ain't no damn jobs. Let's close. Let's have a damn debate. Martial law about to pop off. Cannibalism, race wars, civil wars, shit of anarchy. The love of many is wax and cold, but oh yeah, let's have a debate. Are you serious? Let that make sense, Israel. That let you know our people don't know what time it is. Our, our people don't know what time it is. Now, now with that stupid shit, you see. Now with the stupid shit you see coming from our people, they, they don't know what time it is. But I saw you follow though. Look, look at that logo on our shirts. How you think the logo? The hell with a logo on a shirt, man! All hell breaking loose. 
I'm thinking about salvation. I'm praying to be saved. I'm praying to be delivered. I'm praying to be protected. The hell with a damn debate. The hell with your damn shirt with a damn lo new logo on it. Your old logo on it. Nobody gives a damn about that. Don't care how much money you got. Where you live. Where your house at. How, where your jet setting to. Who cares about that? Va vain ass ninjas. The hell with all that, man. The, the sound of the trumpet is going off. The alarm is going to hell off. Wake up. Second Andrew chapter 6. The alarm is going the hell off, man. Second Andrew chapter 6. Bear with me. About to head out, Lord willing, get this daily bread. All this shit almost over. Getting up, going to work, paying bills. Now, all hell is literally about to pop out. The Lord showing us all the signs, all these different videos, military intel, reporting things, people that was just working at the HPs, t telling things that's getting ready to happen, their, their conversation in their meeting rooms. Shit, shit, uh, Klaus Schwab, you know what I'm saying? Fucking um, the gates of hell, you know who I'm talking about. They, they at least, they're telling you their plans for the future. They're telling you pretty much the plans of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Because the king's heart, you read Proverbs 21. Matter of fact, let's just get it right quick and I'm going to come right back. Because I ain't going to make this too much longer. I'm about, I'm about to wrap it up. I want to get this though. Just want to get this though while I'm thinking about it. Just flowing in the spirit. That's why the scripture says to walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wives, redeeming the time because the days are evil. That's Ephesians, the fifth chapter. This Proverbs chapter 21. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. Let's just get it right quick. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart means his mind. The rulers of the earth, their mind. Is in the hand of the Lord. Henceforth, me saying that, it, that they're pretty much telling you what the Lord's going to do before you even do it. When they say they're going to uh, push forth them irises, put a V behind it. Them irises, put a V behind it. Them EZs, put a D behind it. Well, put a D in front of it. Them irises, put a V in front of it. That's what I meant to say. Put a V in front of it. You know what I mean. It's basically the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord can speak through anybody. It's basically the Lord telling you what he's going to do before he even do it. He can't do that. He can't do that. They can't lock it down. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. But then as soon as they lock it down, that ain't right. That ain't right. And who the hell are you going to call on? Because the Lord is controlling them. That's what you people don't understand. You Israelites don't understand. The Lord is controlling this devil, man. The king's heart means his mind. Not that vessel that pumps blood. The mind. The heart represents the mind. That lob. It's in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh. That's why, that's why we need to fear the Lord. He's, called, he's controlling the minds of these devils. As the rivers of water, he turneth fit whithersoever he will. So the Lord say, martial law is going to pop out. He's going he gonna to put the spirit on this devil to lock it down. Close down these stores. Close down the supermarkets. All the above. Then you're going to be looking stupid standing outside. Then, then you won't want to call on the Lord then. Once the supermarkets close down, watch these snitches, man. All of a sudden, uh, oh, we got the name now. They don't got the name. We don't got the real Hebrew. But as soon as something happens again, they're going to know the name again. Hypocrites. Just pull it out the bag. You know what I'm saying? Put it back in the bag. Pull it out the bag. Put it back in the bag. Pull it out the bag. Come on, man. Second Edges chapter 6. We're just going to roll on, man. Second Edges chapter 6. Let's see. Second Edges chapter 6. Verse um, 22. And suddenly, when you least suspect the Israel... Things are going to pop off suddenly when you least expect it. One day, going to the grocery store, it's food. Next day, standing in the grocery store, it's no food. Or going into the store one day freely. Next day, you're trying to go into the store, you got troops in front of it. Saying in order for you to come into the store, you got to take this digital device. We're no, we're no, no longer using cash. 
And the Lord got all you ninjas recorded saying that the M-A-R-K is an embargo. Revelation the 13th chapter, verse 16. For all you hypocrites out there, that's going when shit really pop off, and it, and it's and it's gonna be common knowledge that Revelation, which was pretty much a whole lot of people know about it anyway. But when it come out to be mainstream, that that C hip, that that Karagma, that M A R K, is that C hip, is that M O T? These false prophets are gonna come out to cut someone. So um, I, I believe I said that that was what it was, but I just I just put some other extra things to it. You're going to be found out to be liars and hypocrites. The Lord going to pull your card. Just know that. All you false Israelite group leaders, the Lord going to pull your card. And everyone's going to know that you was a false prophet the whole time. And your congregation going to tear your head off. Just know that. Just like they did, who is it? Just like they did Mussolini. You know what I'm saying? And his wife, I'm thinking. You watch now. And suddenly, shall the song places appear unsown. And the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You ain't gonna get no food. You ain't gonna be able to go to them pantries. You ain't gonna be, the places where they keep that food, there ain't gonna be no food there no more. Then you're gonna be looking stupid in the face. We know you ninjas, man. What, what, what the man, I want answers. I need answers now. I need, well, the Lord been giving you answers now. But you load up his law and despise his word, and you despise the men that was teaching it. The trumpet and the trumpet shall give. Our people don't even have a clue. It's not going to be any food in these grocery stores soon come. And, and if it is, you're going to need a C hip, a digital device to get inside of it. But we're the one, and, and, they're, and they're making everything like this now. You too damn blind to see it when you go into the grocery store. When you go to the grocery store, when you go to pump some damn gas. Everywhere you go, everything is see here ready. Digital as hell. But you still looking at us crazy when we say, when we say according to the Bible, this man's gonna make it mandatory. When we bring out revelation, the Lord is saying it. We just bring out the scripture. You look at us like we crazy. They can't do that. They can't do that. You ninjas are gone, man. Y'all say that every time. He can't do that. He can't do that. He turn around and do it. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. And at that time shall friends fight one against another. These things are going to happen. Hell, it's happening now. The beginning of sorrows, the beginning of mourning. It's high time to wake out of sleep. This ain't our rest anyway. And remember, the prophets were sent forth to prophesy against many countries, against great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence, right? Gr great misery. Great misery. And at that time, shall friends, best friends, shall fight one against another. You don't see how, how violent it's getting. You don't see the love of many whites. You, you don't see, you Israelites don't see nothing. You dead damn blind. You you that damn zombified, that man got that much of a spell on you. I put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. Somebody can put the name of that singer. They say, I will put a spell on you. You niggas got spells on y'all, man. Y'all y'all are actually being seduced. Especially if you don't know what the hell is going on. Va vain ass ninjas out there, man. You vain ass Israelites, man. It's all about your money, your cars, your clothes, your lavish lifestyle, your garments, your armbands. Nobody don't give a damn about that. But oh yeah, the law, statutes, commandments, when you with your damn head lined up, and your damn beard marred. You know what I'm saying? And you took the name of the Lord in vain. But oh yeah, you, you worship another God. But oh yeah, the law, statutes, and commandments. Come on, man. Scriptures say the women are supposed to learn at home in silence from their husbands, but you got all the women with husbands sitting around listening to you. It's crazy. Hypocrites, man. And at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies. Friends going to fight as enemies. And the earth shall stand still, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still. And in three hours, they shall not run. What you wait to cut that water off? You, you wait. We're getting ready to see who really loves who. 
We getting ready to ain't gonna be no more acting. All that acting stuff going out the window. All that acting stuff is getting ready to go out the window. We we getting ready to see who loves who. The, the, look look shit man. The, we going through the testing the testing grounds. Is, look shit man. We getting ready to see who loves who. The Lord gonna test that theory. Second address chapter fifteen. Well, I'm, I'm gonna hit something. Then I'm gone because I got I got to get rid of the roll. Second address chapter fifteen, verse um sixteen. For there should be sedition among men. You can have other people excited, other people to go against the government. They can't do that until it happened. Oh. Wow! Yeah, until you haul, they can't do that until you're hauling ass trying to get the hell out of Dodge. They they can't do it. No, saying so you trying to get the hell out of Dodge, but you trying to lay it low, man. Hauling ass around the corner, trying to get the hell out of Dodge, trying to hide up on a rock or something. But the Lord said you ain't escaping nothing, and this shall not escape. For there should be sedition among men, other people excited, other people to go against the government and invading one another, up in, coming up in them buildings, coming up in them houses, all the above. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. They're not listening to the government anymore. It's getting ready to get lawless out here. You have been warned, Israel. They're not listening to the governor. They're not listening to the mayor. They're not listening to the community leader. They're not listening to these false pastors. They're not listening to these false prophets. Uh, actually, they're going to be coming to look for you. They're going to be coming and look for you false pastors and you false prophets. Your congregation that you've been lying to the whole time, when they figure out that you've been lying to them, when they figure out, you know what I'm saying, that you've been breaking down the scriptures, when they find out you, you've been a crook and a thief, you know what I'm saying, and a, and a B-shitter the whole time, you know what I mean. They're going to come after you. They're going to come after you, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You ain't going to be laughing in that day. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Problem, reaction, solution. That's what's going on now. Problem, reaction, solution. We're going to cause the problem. We're going to see how people react. They, they caused the problem already. They seen how the people are reacting to it, and now they get ready to bring the solution. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And everybody keep forgetting about that draft. Everybody keep forgetting about them dra that draft. Do you not know them draft papers still going out? People still making videos saying they received the letter to, re to report to a recruiting station? To, to, to go off to war? You, 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 you forgot all about that, right? We didn't. We didn't. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. You got all these different podcasts, you know I'm saying, where they're still pushing that feminist nonsense. Women are still running their mouth. Men still ain't talking about nothing. All hell breaking loose, though, right? Let's have some little podcast. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. My neighbor wouldn't do that. Miss Anna May wouldn't do that. She had raised me. She she always fed me. Okay, just wait. Just wait. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. But ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening, Lord. They, they don't believe that your words are faithful and true. They think you're playing around. They think you're just saying something just to be saying something. We'll see. The Lord's like, we'll, we'll see. They're going to destroy your house with the sword with them weapons. And spoil me to take their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Over and over, over and over, that warning went forth. Like the Lord said, when these things come to pass, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you. You're going to know. When that job closed down, when that building that you work at closed down, and they'll give you no one to just go there one day or they just call you. You, uh, the building closed down already. We're gonna send. We're gonna send your last check through the mail, or you will get it direct deposit. Uh, um, when, 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 when did this happen? What, what happened? What happened? They gonna hang up. We just told you what we're gonna do. We're gonna send you your last check. That's all you need to know. 
And then it's your how about Shim Yahu Shah, can you help me? Can you help me? Then, then all of a sudden, you know the name all of a sudden. You ain't got no money for the rent. Now all of a sudden, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hypocrites, man. It's all happening. Everything is happening like the Bible said it would. You niggas gonna see. No more popo. No more fire trucks. No more ambulances. It's just you. Against the world. Shalom.